Alright, what's going on everybody? So I wanted to show off here how to get a GBA and a Game Boy Color emulator for uh, iPhone here using iOS 9.0 or 9.0.1. So unjailbroken of course, since a jailbreak didn't come out. To show that, we go into settings here, you can see um, version 9.0.1. So go ahead and go back there. And to install this, all you have to do is go to Safari. We're going to go ahead and Google iEmulators.com. All this will be in the info, so go ahead and click on that. It'll load up here, so once the web page load, uh, loaded, we're going to hit on apps here, this little tab at the uh, top center. See if it wants to work. I think it tried to copy something for some reason, so go ahead and apps. It'll work that time, and we're going to scroll down to GBA for iOS 2.1, a GBA, a GBC, and a regular Game Boy emulator. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. You'll hit install, and then once you hit install, you'll get another install prompt. Just hit install again. So. After that installs, go back to your home screen. It should load on one of your home screens. I'm not sure if it's the first page, second page, whatever. So once it loads, before you try to open it up, you're going to want to go into your settings here. You're going to go into general. Click on profiles. You'll have two new profiles, this iOS um, and this uh, Shenzhen. I'll repronounce the rest of that. I'm not even going to attempt to. So go ahead and click on them, and it'll give you an install prompt. So just hit verify or trust. It's one of the two words. Click it. It'll verify them. Make sure you do it for both of them, so it'll say it's trusted. There you can see GBA for iOS is verified, and I was playing uh, one game, so I don't want to delete it and lose my save, so that's why I didn't put it in, but pretty much just do that, and it'll work. So go ahead and open up the app here, GBA for iOS, and you can see got a bunch of ROMs I downloaded, so um, I was playing one of them, Pokemon Leaf Green here, which is nice. The other ones I don't think I touched yet. I just decided to download some stuff. So one of my favorite features for this is you can hit Menu and Fast Forward, so it speeds up the pace tremendously. I don't know if you can change the fast forward speed. I haven't been able to find out how, but we're gonna go ahead and put it on normal speed here, as you can see. And we'll talk to a guy, and it takes um, a while. You can see how slow he's moving around here. But once we hit fast forward, you can uh, move uh, tremendously. So it definitely speeds the pace of the game up. So we're gonna go ahead and exit out of here and go back to the uh, main menu. If I can remember how, I don't think. Uh, did not mean to do that, but let's see. Um, menu. Turn to menu here. Of course, it was at the top and I missed it. So, if you want to download some ROMs, AirDrop's the easiest way. I just dropped them from uh, my computer onto my phone, but it has a little built in web browser. So, go ahead and hit search here. It'll bring up a Google browser. And you're going to hit um, EMU Paradise, is the website that I found that works best. Now, you're going to want an ad blocker because this website is loaded with ads and it's super annoying. I'll show you here. So, Let's search for uh, Zelda. I want to play a Legend of Zelda game. Uh, make sure it's for Game Boy Advance, obviously. Don't download like a Nintendo 64 version, which a lot of these are. So scroll down so we can find one. And um, yeah, you see you get all these ads, which is the annoying part. That's why I said it's easier to do it from your computer. But um, here's one for Game Boy Advance. So I'm going to head and click it. And then, of course, there's a download button somewhere. But this website, it works good. It, get, it has all the ROMs, but you're going to get like just destroyed with ads and then of course once you download it it will uh, you'll have to unzip it so go ahead and download that here and then like I said it's like 30 steps to do it so of course I want you to subscribe to something if you use this website on your computer it works great and you can just drag and drop the files which is what I did so click done here you can see let's go into uh, Pokemon Silver I haven't played this one yet so go ahead and hit fast forward it's got a nice little um, Nice little UI here. I'm playing it on the 6S, and you actually don't even need to put it in landscape. It's big enough. So um, if I did put it in landscape, of course, it would stop my recording because it just did that. So go ahead and keep playing here just so everyone can see how good these work. But it's cool to uh, go back and play some of these old Pokemon games, get some nostalgia. Because I tried to play the new ones, and I was like, I have no clue what anything is. So you can see somebody just called me. I have no clue what number that is. So um, hopefully this gets a lot of views and people spam them with something. I think it's an ad number so go ahead and go out of here see this bitch right here wants to talk to me about something so I talk to her and then it is Sunday it actually is Sunday of course it's not the right time yes but I know how to use all right there we go so go out of here and like I said the fast forward feature is really good it saves you a lot of time so show it on normal speed once again and uh yeah when you're talking to somebody it just makes it tremendously faster and if you want to level up all your shit it works pretty good too so that's it guys just showing off a little video so um yeah, if you like this, go ahead and subscribe. More videos coming, and hopefully that worked for everybody. So, link to all the websites and stuff like that is in the info of the video. So, thanks for watching.